Hi, this is Emma, and welcome to Esoteric Detective. Recently it was reported that the Great Barrier Reef may, in fact be dying and within 10 years be lost altogether. After an aerial survey examined 500 sites between Kens and Papua New Guinea, the once healthy reefs were found to be snow white, with 95% ranked in the most severe category of bleaching half of which or more has been described as dying. Let's take a look. Turning to the environment, the colorful reds, orange and blues of the Greater Barrier Reef have faded to a ghostly white color. An aerial survey shows 95% of the coral reef is severely bleached. The cause, abnormally high sea temperatures, about half of that coral will likely die in the next month. For more on this, let's turn to Dr. Reese Halter, distinguished conservation biologist. Dr. Reese, good to have you with us tonight. Also, the author of *The Improbable Honeybee and Economics of Pollination*. Thanks so much for joining us. I, I, I guess uh, people around the world want to know what's causing this, how damaging is it, and can it be reversed? That's an awful lot to ask right away, but that's capsulizing this, isn't it? I mean, as far as where the concern is. Yeah, good evening, Ed and viewers. Uh, I, I think the take home message is this what we do to the oceans, we do to ourselves. The oceans are supercharged with an immense amount of heat. The, uh, this stretch, Ed, it goes from Cairns all the way to Torrey Strait. It's 622 miles. 520 reefs have been examined, only four are unaffected. This, is, this kaleidoscope of life that brims with over 1,500 kinds of fish, 134 different kinds of sharks and rays, and over 30 kinds of whales, dolphins and porpoises, that's their home. That's where they take their young to breed and they've just lost their home. And maybe in a decade, 50% of it will come back. Let me put it to you this way. If uh, half the city of Los Angeles lost their home overnight, there would be an immense amount yeah. of death. It's, it's stunning. And the area we're talking about, as you see, the graphic there is is rather wide. Its impact on nature yeah. is going to be huge, and we're going to have you back to talk more about it. This is one of those stories, because of the environment, just doesn't get a whole lot of attention. Dr. Reese Halter, good to have you with us tonight. We'll do it again. Thank you. This major impact has been blamed on everything from changes in global temperatures to radiation from Fukushima. But the consensus is that the Great Barrier Reef, one of the natural wonders of the world, is not only dying, but at an alarming rate. This coincides with a number of other changes to our biosphere, at a time when the honeybees are dying off, at an alarming rate, which have been blamed on new types of pesticides and the lack of wild flowers within our natural environment. Also massive decline in fish stocks have been measured due to overfishing and environmental hazards, with predictions from scientific models projecting that we will have a collapse in fish stocks in the next 60 years. What do you guys think is happening to our oceans? Are we simply in a time of natural change, something that will pass in time? Or are we doing this change ourselves? Stay tuned and subscribe to Esoteric Detective to keep up to date with the strange and unusual. And please give a thumbs up if you liked the video. And do let me know what you think in the comments section. Until next time, let's hope the changes pass and the ocean rebalances itself. Otherwise we might be in for a very rocky future, pun intended.